you're an outsider to the political arena. You have never run for nor held public office. You're in your 50s. Why now? Why run for Senate now after all these years? Well, I think we're in a unique moment of time. We have a crisis. Uh, uh, 12 months ago, the financial system almost collapsed. And what that has kicked off is a, a job and recession crisis, the worst since the Great Depression. And I, I looked at the political landscape and said, said gee, I'm going to point in my life where uh, my kids are grown. I have two kids in high school, and two kids, one kid in college, and another kid that's uh, working. Uh, so I, 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 it's terrible what's going on out there. And somebody that has on the ground business experience is most likely to be able to fix this and get this country back on, back on track. It, it's, it's a, a political, political office is a blood sport in Massachusetts. But I'd feel like a coward if I didn't do it because I offer something very different than the classic politicians. You know, I offer 25 years of on the ground business experience on how to build businesses, uh, how to get people back to work. We're a product of the American dream. My, my grandfather came from Italy in 1922 with nothing, didn't speak English, um, got a job uh, as a shoe, uh, on a shoe factory floor, which he kept for, I think, 30 years or so. Um, my grandmother also didn't speak English. My father was the only uh, kid in his family to go to college, and he went only because of the GI Bill. He fought two wars. He fought in World War II, and then he fought in Korea. And thank goodness for the GI Bill. So he, when he came back, he got a college degree, became a salesman. Mm -hmm. uh, so I had a, a fantastic you know, middle class upbringing. So I actually think training and building businesses is vital you know, to, the, to the government function. And it's about getting results, having a sense of urgency, and, 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 and reaching across both sides of the aisle and making things happen so that the government is making our country a great country again. Governor Mitt Romney recruited you in the late 80s, early 90s for Bain Capital. In turn, you eventually donated to his campaigns, uh, you, you know, help him get elected. The governor, of course, being a well-known conservative. Uh, why would you do that? Well, I made those donations. I've, I've, I've talked about this before, you know, out of, out of friendship. But first of all, my first donation was to uh, Bill Clinton in 1992. He captivated me. I thought he could do the right things for America, and he did. Uh, I've been, I've always had progressive values. I've given hundreds of thousands of dollars to Democratic causes and raised money. Uh, one of my proudest moments was sitting behind John Kerry when he got the nomination for president in the Boston Garden. And I was with him at the debates down in Florida. So I worked very hard for John Kerry. I've worked very hard for many Democratic candidates. So what I, what I did for the Republican side, just it, it's, it's tiny. It was out of friendship. And it was, it, was, it was not out of ideology. But you've also donated to the campaigns of George W. Bush as well as Bill Same, well. same story. First of all, the, 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 there's, there's a little bit of misinformation about there. I donated $1,000 to a primary. So it was we were going to have a Republican. You, know, you knew we were going to have a Republican candidate. So it was going to be one or the other, George Bush or McCain. Uh, th that was probably a bad investment. But I did that investment because the people who asked me for that money had given $300,000 to the Mass Society of Prevention of Cruelty to Children. Hmm. So maybe I was overly concerned about stopping abuse, <laughs> but I gave $1,000 to a primary. Um, did not support, you know, you know, George Bush, voted for, for Al Gore, and uh, have been a, uh, you know, you know, a lifelong person that's had democratic values. And former Governor Bill Weld? Former Governor Bill Weld, same story, worked with our firm, and, and again, t very small amounts of money a long time ago um, for the same issue, that he was a friend of our firm.